Today is Tuesday. It is January 19th. And we are going to do a 45 minute yoga practice. So make yourself nice and comfortable. Make sure you have a nice quiet place. And we'll spend the next 45 minutes together just letting go and recharging so we're ready for the rest of our day. Let's go ahead and do some relaxation to begin. So we're gonna go lie down on our backs. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms open face to the sky. Let's close our eyes and start to breathe deeply in through the nose. Expand your belly back and rib cage as you inhale. And exhale out through the nose as well. Feel those lungs inflate as you breathe in. Feel them empty as you exhale. While we're breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the nose, bring some awareness to your face. Relax your eyes. Relax your jaw. Release the muscles in your neck. And guide your breath down your arms from your shoulders out through your fingers. And guide your breath into your legs and let's breathe from our hips to our toes. Guiding our breath into our spine, let's breathe from the top of our head all the way down to the tip of our tailbone. Body's nice and soft. Let's inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale as we float back. Reach out through your fingertips. Push out through your heels. Feel your body go soft. We'll inhale the arms back up. Exhale, return them to your sides. Turn your eyes to look over your right shoulder. Bring the head back to neutral. Balance will pull up. Come back to neutral. And again, inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale all the way back. Push out through your heels and stretch out through your fingertips. And feel your body go soft. Lift the arms back up. And return them to your sides. Once there, let's draw the left knee in close to the body. Flex and point your foot. Roll the ankle around. And then just rest your foot. Switch legs, in goes the right, out goes the left. Flex and then point. Roll the ankle around. And just release. And let's bring both knees in together. Nice tight head to the body, shoulders relaxed on the mat. A few gentle rocks from side to side. And then back to center, circling our knees around. And then let's reverse. And then just keep your knees tucked in. From there, let's go ahead and set the right foot on the mat with the knee bent. Extend your left leg towards the sky. Walk your hands up as close to your ankle as you can and just push out through that heel. Try spreading your toes out as wide as you can. And then let them scrunch up really tight. 
I let the light float all the way down. Once it's down, let's breathe out of that knee. And then we'll pull the right knee to the chest, start with your hook. And then we'll extend the leg. Flex your heel, push out to dead heel. And try spreading your toes really wide. And then scrunch your toes in super tight. And let your foot release and come all the way down. Once it's down, let's relend both the knees. Bring them back in. Rock a few times side to side. And then come back to neutral. Let's cross at our ankles. Hook around your big toes with your second and third fingers. Scoop the belly in tight. Press through the back of your ribs as you round up. Nose toward knees, chin towards chest. Roll back down. Change the cross of your legs. Again, hook around your big toes. Scooping the belly in, round up. And release, uncross and recross. Once again, tighten the belly, press through the back of your ribs and round up. On the exhale, we're gonna roll up. And that should bring us into an easy cross leg position. Allow your palms to open face to the sky. Let the backs of your hands rest softly on your knees. Let your chin fall to your chest and breathe into the back of your neck. Lift the head, let's tip back, open the throat. Exhale again, chin to chest. Inhale, lift to back, open the throat. Exhale, chin to chest. And inhale, lift to back, open that throat. And then just find your way back to that neutral place. Think about lifting and opening your heart. Turn your eyes to look over your right shoulder. Come back to center. Turn your eyes to look over your left shoulder. And then return to center. Place your hands together at your heart. Inhale, open the arms and the heart. Exhale, let the backs of your hands meet as you round your spine. Inhale as we open. Exhale as we round. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. Now I want you to draw the elbows in. Bring your wrists under your armpits. Think about dumping a glass of water over your thumbs. Open your heart, open your throat. And then release so the back of your hands meet. Bring the wrists under the armpits again, opening heart and throat. Exhale, round. One more time, drawing in. And coming around. And then find your way back to a neutral center and breathe. Let's take one more inhale as we are. Exhale as we go soft and transition onto hands and knees. Once we've made it there, got shoulders over hands, hips over knees, tops the feet on the mat. Start to sink your navel as you lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. And then exhale, let's round for our cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round, cat. Try once more, inhale for cow. And exhale, round for cat. And then just bring yourself back to a neutral spine. Let's extend the left leg behind us and push out through the left heel. While we're doing that, extend the right arm forward and let your right palm rotate towards the sky. Exhale, lower, we'll switch. Extend the right leg back. Reach the left arm forward. Rotating palm towards the sky. And then come back to all fours. Separate your knees, let your big toes meet. Push back with your tailbone and extend your arms out as you drop your chest through your knees. Forehead on the mat. 
As you're rotating those palms towards the sky, feel the stretch deepen down the sides of your body. Let's flip the palms over, wide spread fingers. We'll tuck our toes and make our way up into down dog. Let your head drop through your arms. Feel your ribs pull closer to your thighs. Feel the back of your shoulder blades lengthen down towards your tailbone. Press into the hand where your second, third, and fourth fingers come into your palms, that little pad there. Let's walk the dog a few times, lift and lower each heel individually. And then keep one heel raised, one heel pressed. And then we'll switch. And then lift both heels and push them back down. From there, let's inhale forward into plank. And exhale back up into down dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale, down dog. Inhale again to plank. And exhale, down dog. Inhale to plank. And this time, modify your plank by simply lowering to your knees. As we lower the elbows, go wide. Bring your chest and then your hips. Tuck your elbows in and then lengthen. Rise into cobra. Exhale, opening on the way down. Tuck elbows in as you inhale and rise. Exhale, open on the way down. Tuck elbows in and inhale, rise. Once more, opening on the way down. Tuck elbows in and inhale, lengthen, rise. Now let's tuck our toes and we're back up into Gnome Dog. Inhale forward to plank. Modify if you'd like. Lowering down, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, tuck elbows in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Again, inhale forward to plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lengthen, rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's return to all fours. Sink our navel, we'll lift our tail, we'll lift our head, open our heart. And then scoop and round for your cat. And then we're back to a neutral place. We'll step our right foot forward. Position your foot so that your knee is over your ankle. Press down into your second, third, and fourth toes. Hold the belly button tight as we rise into crescent moon. Arms open wide as you open your heart. And then fold forward into a nice little airplane. Return your hands to the mat. Tuck your left toes under so you can lift your left knee. And that brings us into runner's lunge. So think about really lengthening all the way down that left leg out through the heel. Straight line from your heel to the top of your head. Let's step the right foot back, returning us to plank. Press back up into down dog. And then return to all fours. Again, sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. Exhale, it's wrong for cat. Make your way back to that neutral place. We'll step the left foot forward this time. Again, positioning the foot so the ankle is directly under the knee, and we're gonna press down into those second, third, and fourth toes. When ready, lift to the sky, crescent knee. Open your arms, open your heart. Fold forward into your little airplane. Let your hands return to the mat. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee, and we're back in lunge. And again, nice straight line from the heel of your right foot out through the top of your head. 
Now let's step the right foot forward. Let your toes come close and your heels stay apart. Pull your ribs close to your body. Cradle your elbows in the palms of your hands and just let the weight of your upper body rest on your thighs. Let's inhale, roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale into the heart. Inhale, extend. And exhale to the heart. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, let's look out. And then exhale as we sink. Stepping back, right foot, left foot into plank. Modify if you'd like, lower down. Elbows tuck in, inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. And exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes in. Inhale, roll up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale to the sky, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, sink. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale on the way down. Inhale on the way up. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale again, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes in. Inhale, roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale again. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale as we sink. Right foot back, left foot back, plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. And exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes in. Inhale, roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale again, extend. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes in. Inhale, roll up. Reach, touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale again, extend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And then exhale as we sink. Stepping back, right foot. Hold your runner's lunge. Push your right heel down, turn your right toes out. Align your left heel with the back of your right heel. When you're ready, start to lift upper body. Squaring our hips towards the front end of our mat. Shoulders stacked over hips. Let's add the arms into warrior one. Arms open wide as your heart opens. I'll start to neutralize the spine as you straighten your front leg. And let's rotate so we end up facing the wide edge of our mat. We've got our toes and our heels out. Palms open face to the sky, five queen and star. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms behind us as they hook together. Roll the shoulder blades together. Start to draw down with your knuckles as you open your heart and you open your throat. And then as we inhale, let's neutralize our spine. Exhale, hinge forward and keep leading with your chest. Fold as far forward as you can. And then just let your head drop and let the arms lift a little higher towards the sky. As we exhale, let your hands release and let them float back down to the mat. Once they are pushed down through your palms so the arms become straight, inhale, lengthen the spine as you look out. And then exhale, try to go just a little deeper. 
Let your forearms drop and your head drop. We'll nod our head yes. Shake it no. And then just let your upper body hang out. Let's push down through the palms once again. Slide the left hand over so it's centered beneath you and then push on it with your right hand. Inhale, right arm to the side. Exhale, revolve at the waist. Twisting straddle. Now as we exhale, lower the arm to about shoulder level. And then inhale, lift that left arm or an airplane straddle. And then let's inhale and rise all the way to standing. That brings us back into five point and star, palms open face to the sky. Let's go ahead and turn our left toes to face the front end of our mat. Align your left heel with your right arch. Keep the body nice and tall and then bend your left knee. Let it come out over your ankle without pushing beyond your toes. And there's our warrior two. Extend the left arm a little bit forward and as you lift the left, lower your right. Turning left palm towards the sky. Reverse warrior. back to warrior two. And then let's pull that left leg straight without locking. Go back to our start position. From there, our right hip starts to pull behind us and our left arm's reaching out as far, far, far as we can reach. Once we can't go any farther in either direction, lower the left and lift the right. And feel your body pressed against the imaginary wall behind you. Meanwhile, we've got our right hand reaching towards the sky. Relaxing, leaning, tension from the shoulder or the neck. And then from there, let's start to bend the left knee. That brings us into extended angle pose. And you can either rest your forearm on your thigh or you could reach that left hand all the way down. Exhale, let's bring the right hand down. Bring yourself back into your lunge, and then we'll step our left foot back. And that brings us back into plank. Modify if you'd like, we're lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. And exhale again, downward facing dog. Let's step the right foot forward, left foot forward, toes in. Start to bend your knees, and as you're doing that, think about pulling your knees closer together, like you're trying to sit down in a tiny chair. And then you're gonna lift your ribs away from your thighs and let your arms extend alongside your ears, framing your head. Inhale, rise from the chair. And exhale to your heart. Try again, inhale, rise, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out, and exhale as we sink. We'll step back with our left foot this time, bringing us back into lunge, and then push your left heel down and turn your left toes out. Align your right heel with the back of your left heel, and let's start lifting upper body. Once we're there, we've got our hips facing forward, our shoulders square, add your arms overhead. Feel the weight pressing into your second, third, and fourth toes on the right foot. Let's open our arms, open our heart. And then we'll bring our spine back to neutral. And let's start to straighten that front leg as we rotate upper body. And that brings us into 
Five point and star facing the wide edge of our mat. Palms open in the sky. Let's rotate our palms to face forward and then let your hands meet together in front of your body. Clasp your hands and then press your index fingers together. Breathe across the upper back and the back of your shoulders. And then as we inhale, start to lift the arms, allow them to frame your ears without feeling any shrugging of your shoulders. Keep lengthening out of your waist and then do a little side Stretch to your left. We'll come back up and side stretch to the right. And lift back up. And a little bit more of a back bend. And then we're back to neutral as the arms open. Again, they come behind us and they hook together. Feel your shoulder blades roll together. As you open your heart center, tip your head back, open your throat. And then let's inhale to neutral spine and exhale, hinge forward. Lead with your ribs, folding as far forward as you can. Let your head drop and then let your arms lift a little higher. As we exhale, let your hands release. Your fingertips come back down to the floor. Push down into your palms so your arms become straight. Inhale, looking out. And then exhale as we bend the elbows and sink a little deeper down. Push down into your palms, see your arms become straight. Slide your right hand over so it's centered beneath you and then press down on it with your left hand. As we inhale, start to open that left arm to the side and then exhale, revolve at the waist. There's our twisting straddle. Let's bring it back down. Once there, inhale, lengthen, look out. Exhale, both arms out to the side. And then inhale and we're back up. Returning to five queen and star. From there, let's turn our right toes to the front end of our mat. Align our right heel with our left arch. Keeping the body nice and tall, we bend the right knee. Comes out over our ankle without going past our toes. Again, feel that weight resting in those second, third, and fourth toes on your right foot. Extend that right arm a little farther out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower the left foot to the right and turn your palm towards the sky. Warrior two. Now let's pull the right leg straight without locking. And then start pulling the left hip behind you as you extend your right arm out as far as it can reach. Once we can't go any further, lower the right and lift the left. Think about really opening the front of your body, breathing into all that space. Let's bend the right knee. You need to place your right forearm on your thigh, or you can reach your right hand all the way to the mat. Extended angle pose. Exhale the left hand down. Step back with your right foot, bringing you back into plank. Exhale on the way down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale again, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes in. Inhale, roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale, into your heart. Let your arms extend at your sides. Find your mountain pose. From there, begin to shift your weight into your right foot. Place your left heel against your right ankle bone. Let your hands press together at your heart. And then when you're ready, you can lift your toes away from the mat. And just let the arms open. down first, and then return to mountain pose. All right, same thing on the side. Begin to shift your weight into your left foot. Find that focal point for your eyes. Belly button is tight, hands together at heart. Right heel against left ankle bone, and then when you're ready, you can lift your foot. You'll start to bend your knees, and as you're doing that, pull them closer together. Keep your ribs away from your thighs. We're back in our chair pose. Now let's fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink a little deeper, cradling those elbows once again in the palms of our hands, and just letting your upper body release. Release your hands to the mat. Step back, right foot, left foot, and there's our plank. Now let's keep the right shoulder over the right wrist so we can turn into side plank. Modify to the side of your knee if you'd like. Exhale, come back around into full plank and press up into down dog. Inhale again into your plank, this time left shoulder over left wrist, opening side plank. Modification, side of your left knee on the mat. Exhale back around into full plank, press back up into down dog. Now let's lower down onto the knees. Separate your knees, big toes close together, push back with your tailbone, let your chest drop between your knees. Let's thread the left arm through the right armpit, sinking the shoulder to the mat. Let's come back out and we'll switch. Bring that arm back out and push back. And then let your arms come down alongside you. Roll your shoulders towards the mat. And just breathe across your upper back and the back of your shoulders. Hands under shoulders, let's gently press away from the mat. And then once we're upright, we can come around our seat. We'll start with our seated butterfly, so we're going to place the soles of our feet together. 
Let your hands rest in your feet. Bring your heels in closer to your body. And then just let the knees fall wide, breathing into your inner thighs and your outer hips. As we exhale, let's soften a bit and let's stretch the left leg out straight and we'll keep the right knee back but we'll bring it upright. Let your foot walk in closer to your body. We want to keep both of our sit bones on the mat. Let's use that left arm to wrap around the bent right knee. We'll start by giving ourselves a nice hug and then as we inhale, we're going to sit a little taller. Exhale, we're going to turn and look over that right shoulder. Let's exhale and untwist. Place your right ankle on your left thigh, and then just use your right hand to push on that inner right thigh, opening that hip a bit. And then from here, let's lift that leg. And I'm gonna give you a couple of choices. You can either thread your arms through that lower leg, and let your leg just kind of rest in the, on your forearms and draw the leg in that way, working at keeping the shoulders open, the head up. Or we can take the bottom of that foot, place it in the crease of our left elbow, bring those arms around, just cradle it in that way. Same thing, let's bend the left knee, walk the foot in close, sit bones on the mat. This time it's the right arm that we're going to wrap around the bent left knee. Give a nice hug and then inhale, sit taller and straighter. Exhale, turn and look over that left shoulder. Exhale, let's untwist. And then we'll place that left ankle on our right thigh. Use that left hand to push open on the inner thigh. And we'll lift that leg. And remember your choices again. You can bring that lower leg so it's resting on your forearms. Or we can take the bottom of that left foot, place it against the right arm, and let the crease of our elbow kind of hug the foot, and then we'll sit taller and straighter. Exhale and release. We'll stretch that leg out. And push out through the heels of your feet. We're going to do a little bit of a bend in the knees. You can just slide forward, pull your ribs closer to your thighs. And then start to push your legs a little straighter as you melt down. And let's slowly come back up. Bending those knees, placing our feet on the mat. Hold the belly button tight. Find your balance on your tailbone, shoulders relaxed. Begin to extend your legs, go where you can without rounding your back. Add your arms when you feel ready. And then slowly start to open down. Once you've made it all the way down, push out through your heels. Extend out through your fingertips. And then feel your body go soft. Pull the left knee in. Circle the knee. Tuck it in close. 
Extend that leg out and switch sides. Other knee comes in. Hug it in close. And we circle the knee. And then let's keep that knee hugged in. We'll bring the other knee back in. And let's rest our feet on the floor. Toes in slightly, heels apart slightly. Enough space between your butt and your heels so that when you lift up into your bridge, you're activating the back side, not feeling it so much in your thighs or in your knees. So we tighten the belly and start to come up. We want to keep the weight out of our neck.
Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. The time is always right to do what is right. Let us set aside all of our anxious thoughts and decide to live today with courage, with hope, with a loving heart and a giving heart and a grateful heart. Spread random acts of kindness wherever you can. Remember that my soul honors your soul. I honor that place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united, we are the same, we are one. Namaste. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to hydrate. Take good care of yourself. Show kindness to yourself and others by wearing your mask, washing your hands, keeping that social distance. We'll be back in touch tonight to let you know what we've got going on tomorrow. And if you're up to it, we have a Zoom Pilates class at eight and I'll share the ID uh, on Facebook Messenger when I let you guys know about the schedule tomorrow. All right? Take good care. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.